Poison Ivy has always been my favorite love. I mean, I have own three of the original 1966 issue 181s. I almost own every single copy of Poison Ivy comics that are out there. And so uh, I knew I had to make that costume mm -hmm. X, and mm -hmm. that was my focus. Now, did you choose one particular incarnation by a particular artist to do yes. first? Yes. Um, the first, my favorite issue of Poison Ivy is um, a Shadow of the Bat costume. I forget the issue number right now, but um, she's on the cover and she's all like making this face and Batman's in the background. And I love the way the leaves were layered. And I remember showing it to my mom going, I want to make this costume. Of course, I was like younger at the time. <laughs> and she's like, there's no way in hell you're showing out this house dressed like that young lady. And uh, so I moved out of the house. And then, <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Um, and I started doing the costume. You know, you look at a costume, you go, "Oh, that's just leaves on a bodice." I'm just gonna do that. No, it's not it, as easy. No. There's fit. There's the way things move. There's the way things wear, and, mm -hmm. and you learn. Mm -hmm. And it was a great process. Since then, you have learned to sew, I assume? I've always actually known how to sew, not very well. Mm -hmm. um, my mom makes quilts, my grandmother sews. My grandmother used to reupholster couches and fabrics and, you know, you name it, she could sew it. My mom's the same way. Mm -hmm. I grew up with them teaching me how to sew, I never really enjoyed it. Um, and I never had any formal training in it. Um, I, take, I took a couple of sewing classes here or there, so I would mostly look at something and go, okay, I'll just figure it out as I sure. go along. Yeah. And that's the way I've, I've learned how to sew. Um, most recently, since moving out to, the Cal to California, I found a really great location um, nearby that they offer like college-level seamstress classes. Very cool. And I'm starting to take those, and it's all about fit and tailoring, and it just it's really intensive, and I'm, I'm loving every minute of it. Cool. Now, for the, um, for the types of costumes that you like to make and wear, are there any other skills that you need to acquire or master in order to produce the results that you want to get? Well, like most recently with my Irene Adler costume, mm -hmm. um, she has she had in the first Sherlock Holmes movie a really hat, an ornate hat, and as you can see here, I made this. And that whole thing from the ground up? Yeah. I, um... And you are not a hat maker? I'm not a hat maker. I've never touched a hat before <laughs> in my life. Uh, and I got a buckram frame and sewed it together and then covered it and found hmm. the flowers and attached the flowers. I'm not going to turn it over because you can see how ugly it is. Oh. Actually, it, you know, I mean, it's not... But that part goes on your head, yeah. so who cares? So I, just using screenshots from the movie, I just put it together. And, you know... Very it, fancy. It, it worked. And kind of the same thing with wigs. I. I enjoy making wigs as well. Mm -hmm. um, I first started styling them, and then, like with my Arkham Asylum Poison Ivy wig, mm -hmm. there was no basis for that. There wasn't a wig you mm -hmm. could just get on eBay or from Cosworks or anything like that. So yeah. I actually had to learn how to make a widow's peak into the wig. I had to learn how to put in wefts of hair, and mm -hmm. I enjoy it. Mm -hmm. And and there's other things like I learned how to do embroidery. For this is a prop from the Sherlock Holmes movie. Irene Adler gives that to oh, Sherlock. Oh yeah, right, right, right. And you know, there's only two two shots of that in the movie, and I basically sat there with the movie <laughs> on pause. And I'm like sketching and, and sewing, and yeah. I, I learned how to do That's that. Really I also learned how to do some woodworking. Wow. I never did any woodworking before. So definitely and a diverse staining collection and of skills. Yeah, it's interesting it, for me. It's. I love to learn things. Like I, I really would love to learn how to work with latex. Mm -hmm. uh, upcoming with this, the costumes we're we'll making, I'm gonna be learning more about sculpting and mold making. Now tell me about that. What are some of the costumes you've got on the horizon? Okay, well, you seem to have some high ambition. <laughs> this year, either I'm gonna succeed with flying colors or I'm gonna die trying. <laughs> um, this year, I'm trying a new edition of Poison Ivy, uh, the Gotham City Sirens Ivy. When she, when the series came out, it was pretty unique looking. As you can see behind me on the board, it has a very smooth look to it, but if you read the comic, she also looks nude under <laughs> So I've been, you know, I finally found a fabric that would give me that look yeah. and be smooth, but I have to, I'm gonna be sculpting the gauntlets, the bodice, and the, you know, the boob leaves <laughs> and the hip leaves. And also, you heard it here first, folks. <laughs> part of the boots 
because it has a very organic look into the material. Now, as surely well. though, luckily you have years of experience in sculpting I that have. you can apply. To, <laughs> no, what? <laughs> Me. <laughs> I'm going to be learning. Uh, I've been watching so many tutorials yeah. on the RPF, which is a great resource. <laughs> um, YouTube, um, a lot of actually, I found some great ideas from cake decorators. Interesting. Because they use rolled fondant to make like cakes, and mm. it's very delicate work and it has to look so precise. Mm -hmm. So I've been looking at a couple of YouTube videos of cake decorators and the way they make cakes. Interesting. Interesting. I never thought of it before, actually. Yeah. yeah. Um, so that, I'll be making a new wig for that because she has leaves strewn throughout her, her hair. Um, and then also upcoming is Star Wars because I'm going to my first celebration. And oh. I have never been to celebration. C6 will be my first nice. one. Um, nice. Doing Satil Sean from the Star Wars The Old Republic. We'll be doing the, the leg armor and I'm kind of nervous about this costume because there are no base patterns for it. it oh, I'm so it's going to be scratching the ground up, huh? Everything from scratch cool. with this costume. Cool. Well, that's exciting. It's, and I'm actually trying to source the fabric now because it's a very, very unique fabric. Um, the lightsaber will be kind of a conglomeration. I may have to have it CNC'd. That's cheating, according to Tim Wynn. No, cnc <laughs> <laughs> um, and you know, so we're gonna have to. It's gonna be so many different mediums that I'm really looking forward to. Cool. It. The other costume is is uh, the Guild Hall dancer from Star Wars: The Old Republic. Mm -hmm. That because it is so precise, I did ask my great friend and sculptor Laban Boldero of Fourth Wall Designs in oh, the sure, UK. Oh yeah, yeah. He's doing the. Sculpt he does fantastic job. work. Amazing work, and he's doing the sculpt job on that, and I'll be doing the soft pieces of the costume. Gotcha, and that's the one that's sort of like a mini Slave Leia. It is. A it's, micro size. I think it's the, the first edition Slave Leia, and then, you know. <laughs> <laughs> um, other than that, let's see, I actually have, you know, I'm very organized, pretty organized, and I have spreadsheets. Whoa, of computers. costumes, and when's do what's doing what, and the cost. Um, let's see. Redoing Black Widow, because mm -hmm. um, the last time I wore her, the suit was so tight, I actually lost feeling in my feet. Whoa. So she's being redone. Okay. And the piece de resistance and my happy place is my Mistress Chief armor from Halo yes. is finally going to be done. Um, because this is my mecca, my, my dream costume, I'm mm -hmm. having a friend sculpt it and create it for me. Um, huge Halo fan. I'm that girl when I see Halo customers and I tackle them. Sorry, guys. You tackle Halo I ca So tackle if someone wanted to be tackled by you, all they have to do is dress up in Halo armor. Good Halo armor. Good Halo armor. Per yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Free advice.